that the syndicate um uh, um <laughs> they're having a cow over a lot of stuff that isn't what is it <laughs> how you say beetle or something like that oh my god yeah that word okay so and my 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 oh if she was still in here my niece would vouch i don't know mexican my husband never taught me um i just know the bad words and the um like nice words but i don't he's never said that word around me so i had no idea what that was well the syndicate had um asked me in their live because you know i was in there because bgp and uh, wagon burner were in there so um they asked me what that was and i thought it was a lakota word i was like is that lakota because i'm lakota you know <sighs> and they were like don't act like you don't know i don't even know what the hell that was trying to spell i didn't know what it was and then he said it and i was like okay what is that i don't know what that is i said i honestly found out what that was on that live but it, like they were saying it, it it didn't sound like the same thing so i don't know i don't know but anyways yeah, they're still bringing it up yeah like, i think it was Fuck. a different word based on the recording that was um was played yesterday with emiliano um it's it's not even that word it's another word the situation at hand is deeply troubling first and foremost the fact that legal is denying something that was clearly recorded is concerning the slur in question was mayate and it's appalling to witness such blatant dishonesty so okay i'm lost now so am I getting accused of the right word they're saying or what? And I didn't even say it. <laughs> I fucking don't even know what the hell's going on. I literally didn't say that word. And um, they're trying to hold me accountable for somebody else using it. But honestly, I didn't know what it meant or anything like that. So how can they hold me accountable for that? What I find especially ironic is how people are once again pretending to be confused about something that is obviously a racial slur. The same individuals who claim ignorance have, in the past, suggested asking their Mexican spouse about Spanish words they hear. This hypocrisy reveals their true, problematic nature. Ah, let it go. Oh, I hate that though. I really try to fight the whole, oh, she's anti, um anti-black i'm like i'm not <laughs> what, yeah what it was was yeah, the way it was being pronounced all, all anti-black and then if you yeah. pronounce it a certain way it meant something else but then if you only said part of it it definitely meant something else as well if i remember right yeah i but don't she, i wouldn't know you didn't say it that's the thing yeah, that I did. she didn't see it at all and yeah. and if it's based on the recording it, the gentleman was asking a question, um, or at least that's what, what was on the recording, and the recording sounded all cut up. Like, there were not words that were finishing sentences, and there were things that were not being, you know, that were not, we were not said in complete sentences. That's why I was asking Vibes to please show the video, because it sounded like only snippets were were being played or they were spliced together so we need to get the full video you know on that but he was asking a question the level of gaslighting taking place is astounding legal is spinning a false narrative trying to shield one of her anti-black chicano friends emiliano who undoubtedly used a slur why are we lying about something that can be easily verified it's clear as day that Emiliano directed a racial slur at a black individual. Watching them attempt to justify a slur aimed at black people is both disturbing and revealing. He didn't call anybody any names. I could check on my live thing and see if I it had it because um, they didn't have it before. God, I'm getting tired of holding this one. But anyway, they didn't no, have it before. Is, that's so, the whole reason why I love Legacy. I've been following Legacy forever. Oh, legal uh, uh, yeah. she, what was yeah, the word again uh, um they're asking uh mayate <laughs> okay that yeah that word thank you brother i love you i love you sis that's why i've been following you for all this time <laughs> oh well, yeah did you find out oh, did you hear out i'm uh, bgp's cheerleader so i'm like very 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 happy with I that like position hey 
I'm like, very happy I with like, that position. I, I actually like BGP. <laughs> I mean, she recognized me when I come into her life. <laughs> You're like, oh, and she tell the panel straight up. She's like, oh, this is this is a brother right here coming from Hawaii. You know, if you got any questions for mm -hmm. uh, this brother from Hawaii, he knows a lot. But I just came in like to say hello. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and see, look, even Daniel said the same thing that you guys were saying. So I don't know. If BGP comes in here, I'm blocking her. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, block that You're woman. Totally joking. <laughs> when a, when a Mexican, Tell her this full blood said too. Hey, <laughs> she's good. <laughs> hey, but when a Mexican, I love that reason. When a Mexican, I'm sorry. Says, when a Mexican says that word that you guys just said right now, yeah, it's anti-black. Is I don't it's know. I asked my husband. I said, "So what is that? What does this word mean?" And uh, Teleco was on the phone with me, and he said it means African. I was like. Well, that's not bad. No, it's, Come to it's find worse out it wasn't that. Teleco told me something. I was like, oh, you fucking asshole. <laughs> it's way you worse. Had, you could have set me up. I literally would have got my ass handed to me up because I don't know what that means. Anybody, have, have anybody, as far as the host or the panel, anybody ever been to Hawaii? I no. wanted to or go. Did, did anybody in the panel and the host did anybody actually go into a live session with Hawaiian people? Once. I, I didn't okay. go up in a box, but I listened. Yeah. Once. Okay. So, so a lot of times you probably heard this word called haole. You guys understand that? I've heard it, but yeah, I don't know what it means. A lot of people thinking that haole is a racist word. Okay. 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 So if you guys ever go into a, a native Hawaiian life and you guys ever hear somebody that who's white saying things about because Hawaii is a miracle, which Hawaiians here don't exclude us guys as being native, uh, are we native Hawaiians, not American. So if you ever say, you ever hear any person on the Hawaiian lives, anybody from Hawaii says haole. Let me put it this way. If I go to wherever the states are, I want haole. Okay. It's not racist. The word haole in Hawaiian means foreigner. That means you're not from there. Well, see, even in our language, if they say sapa, just like sapa, that's the color black, you know? But if you say hasapa, that's just like a, a, a black person. Like it's a more polite, it's the polite way to say it. So when people say sapa on here and they, they're telling that, I, I don't like that at all. I mean, if we're gonna be I mean, okay. respectful, for, for, let's for be a, respectful. For a common you know? person, back in the old days, we called them black. There we came colored. Then they mm -hmm. came what uh, I mean, I guess the N word, I have no idea. I I that's not my generation, that's not my my, my native tongue. Mm -hmm. But my wife is pure Japanese, so my son is half Japanese, half Hawaiian. I love those shows that back in the seventies and the eighties, which is like the Cosby show. Okay, hear me out. Mm -hmm. Cosby Show, What's Happening, even Different Strokes, the whole nine yards. Okay, when my son was only three years old, he said, Dad, can we watch the show again? What show? The show with the brown people. He never called them black. Called them, he called them brown. Okay. I agree. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, they're brown. They're darker than me, but I'm native Hawaiian. You know what I mean? Thank you, that means they spend they spend so much time in the sun more than me. Mm -hmm. Because we all can be we we all can be that color if we spend more time in the sun. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Now the white people can go spend time in the sun, they go turn red. 
But if you keep on getting a habit, it will change the color to brown. Think about it. <laughs> That's true. Think about like, it. In the winter time, I, I get I get light, and I'm like the lightest one out of my family. Yeah. Everybody else is way darker course. than me. And I'm the oldest. You know what I, mean? like, I don't know what happened. I'm like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> no, it's, it's just it's just physics facts that all this time that we've been on this face of this earth, if you spend more time under the sun, your body gonna turn brown, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. it, think about it. Okay, so how about this one? Okay, I wear shorts and I wear a t-shirt. Everything under there. Even though the sun is hot and in Hawaii, mm -hmm. my face is brown. I have to take off my shirt. It's white. <laughs> your, your two colors right there. Yeah. Yep. Right. You know what I mean? So I don't know what the, <clears throat> the problem with the... Um, in Hawaii, we don't know how the problem about being racist. The fact is, is you know, yeah. we, don't, we don't believe in that. We don't believe in that. You know, Dave, I, I yeah. have no idea. My bad. Yeah. yeah. I want to no, say what's, up? Up? what's up, sub commando? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry uh, for that picture. Right? I guess someone didn't like it, but um, I want to say like the whole that word, right? The black beetle word. Now, yeah, it does literally mean, literally translates to that. And like, if you're talking about that specific beetle, then like, there's nothing wrong with using that word, you know, but like, I mean, in the Mexican community, at least, like, we know what that means. We all know what that means, and especially in the context of referring to a black person with that word. It is it is the equivalent to the N-word in Spanish. It is. Um, and so is, like, know. like, like, uh, like, chongo is, uh, you can refer to a, a, a literal monkey, right? You can mm -hmm. be talking about a literal monkey, or you could be talking about a black person. If you're talking about a black person, then you're using it in a, in a you know, a racist way. So, like... You know, I understand um, to give give people grace and everything. And me, uh, me of all people, I mean, I get accused of being anti-black all the fucking time, and I don't feel like I am. And I, you know, I don't say slurs like that ever, but I still get labeled that way. So I understand trying to be fair to people, but you can't. You also can't let people gaslight you because that is a slur. We all, everyone who's Mexican, everyone, even even my no sabo ass knows that that's a slur. So like, you know, if I know it, everybody knows it. Mm -hmm. Well, see, I, Can I say something? like I said, my husband never used that word. So when it was said in my life, I was just listening because I, it's, it's a Mexican word. I don't speak Mexican other than bad words. This is a perfect example of how covert anti-blackness manifests in real world situations. Emiliano's use of Mayate was clearly derogatory, aimed specifically at black people. There's no room for confusion here. It's alarming how they pretend to suddenly not understand Spanish when it comes to Emiliano's actions, yet they were Spanish experts on another occasion when calling out a black individual. I the indigeneity of some um, Mexicans. I, I never did. No, I haven't. Yes, actually. You did. I haven't. And you, called, and you called us wetbacks. I'm not a wetback. Oh, yay. Hey, hey, we're getting pretendians in here now. So, so legal? Oh, so no. We get, no, let's back in here. That. So what I said was actually as a response to Manny calling me Mayate, okay, and he also called me Changa, como un mono. What I said to Manny, I never said he wasn't indigenous, what I said to him was because he called me Mayate and Changa, so that's why I said what I said. So you ask for no excuse. Like, I don't no, need, like, I, I don't need an excuse. You said it in Josh's I, life, not in Manny's life. No, it was too many. It was too many. Do we girl. put I, in the videos? Girl, I literally said oh, it. I, no, it wasn't even in Josh's life. I thought it was in um Dean's life. It was. It was. Oh, it was, it was that's right. Life she said it again in Dean's life. No, I did. I did address her about that. Honestly, I did. I did write her a message and let her know that I. I I'm a mod in Dean's live and I let her know that that won't fly again. Um, and I get why she was saying that because Manny's a jackass. But again, but again it's not okay to say it even though he's yeah. being a jackass. Like, could you imagine if, if somebody straight up went said the N-word and then I retaliated with the N-word? 
Like yeah. it's not okay. You already said the N word, so you're. I don't it care. It's not okay to retaliate no, no, racial listen, slurs back. Yeah, you know, you're sitting here making excuses. Uh, like just I'm stop with the excuses. Any, for real. Literally. Yeah. 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 You know what? My 11 year old just said that means the same thing. That means the same thing. So don't dance around what you said. You said what you said, and they're calling you out on it. Be accountable. And I, and I agree with you. We're not I being accountable, though. That's what. That's why everyone's fired up. I've listened to everything you've had to say, and I've read what you had to say, and you're dancing around it. I'm not. You don't I'm call really people. Not. You don't say that to somebody. That's sick. Knock can it I off. Speaking, Do am better. I keep being cut off. Do and better. That's the issue. I think you guys are trying to be like the morality police. But I never said I. Okay, I'm not. I'm. I'm done. Let's put it this way. I'm done. Look at the only thing we're saying is what you said was a. It may not have been a blanket statement, but it did hurt other people. So for you to sit here, up here and make it sound like, oh, it's okay. I only refer to that person. No, 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 no. You don't say it. Period. Just like them saying the N word. We don't tolerate it. We won't allow it. But you're ex you're expecting us to allow you to like say, oh yeah, that was for him, but that wasn't meant for you guys. No, no, a simple apology will freaking end all this. That's all. But you're saying you're being bullied into it. If you don't have the fucking heart or the fucking class to sit here and say my apologies, it wasn't meant for you guys. You know, I'm sorry I said it. Then get the fuck off my panel. I do want to highlight that Native Vibes was the only person to speak out in this instance. But she, I she. recorded it and the part where it was showing your panel, your live. Mm -hmm. I wasn't too sure what part you wanted recorded. Though. I, I recorded honestly, I... Okay, well, I honestly don't even know where this the an interaction happened because... I mean, I also was cooking and stuff at the time, too. So I was like, eh, off and on this thing. But um, was I cooking? I know I was being bugged. I don't know. But anyways, um, so um, I had a live, um, I believe it was a couple of days ago. And um, a, a guy came up here and had used a um, Mexican. And one of the... Um, one of the uh, guys from the in the comments came up and um, corrected him on how to use it, uh, what he was saying and stuff, and um, to be compared honest, it to, yeah. To be honest, that that's A A V E. Um, whatever he was getting his his uh, uh, Genshin a bunch was mm -hmm. over jail shit, and it just doesn't work the same out here as it does in there. Um, <laughs> no, that wasn't that wasn't over jail shit. It, it was an example yes, that he used. Was. I just finished watching it, Tilika. Well, He's no, talking he, he, about how how it was spoke in jail, um, yeah, in prison, and and it's A A V E. And I don't even know what that is. I mean, I know you told me that because even if you watch the video, you would understand that Emiliano and the other person, as well as myself, in the comments and other people. Um, actually gave the definition to the word that was used in addition to like other things that was you guys called uh, him a black beetle. You guys called him a black beetle. Like that's but a little. Did they um, did no, they call it him or were they comparing mean? it? What does miate mean? It's a Nahuatl word that means beetle. But it's uh, it's green. It's not black. Yeah, it's not a black it's beetle. A it's a it's a green beetle. It's a fruit beetle. Yeah, it's evergreen. But I mean, during that conversation, was he was he using it as a comparison? I don't. I didn't get a. I didn't get a freaking watch it. I should have. But um, was he using it as a comparison or? See, I didn't even know what the heck the that I didn't word was he used. It as a derogatory used. term. I agree with that because he goes, "I call you guys imiates." That's what he said. <laughs> Okay, see, I didn't, I didn't hear any of that, and I don't even know what the fucking word means. I really did, and I was like, I, I just, I fucking swear to God. And I, and asked him, uh, Teleco was on the phone. I asked my husband. He said it means African. I was like, oh, okay. He don't tell me shit, that asshole. 
Yeah, some people <laughs> use the word as a derogatory manner, but I mean, any word can be used as and a derogatory manner. No, 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 no. Don't even. We'll play it. Oh, I want to play it because I want to see it. You, you, you make call somebody a Mexican. Not. He said, he straight up said, I call Vibes, how is it an, an excuse he said when that. the little can we play word the video? is an indigenous word? But it's can we play the video? Okay. Hello? Listen, can we play the video? Let me talk. Can we play the video? He literally, the video? Said, <laughs> he literally said in the video, I call you guys miate. Yeah, well, apparently, I didn't know that was a bad word either. I didn't. Surprisingly, I a lot it's of people know that word too really, because of that. It really isn't. It's, and it's not a black beetle. It's a green beetle. There's a different beetle that is black. Uh, but the, the mayate is green. And Talika showed pictures of it and the definition of it. So we use it uh, mainly for those for those green beetles. And as a matter of fact, in the mercados, those green beetles are sold with a string because you can literally they're so big that you can literally play with them like with a string. And, you know, it like, you know, like like brother said, you know, this word can be often used. It's a word that's used daily and especially in the mercados where they have them. And, you know, in another sense, it, you know, it could mean something completely insulting, you know. Yeah. I, I know the context. I, I know that they actually it's actually used to talk about the beetle. I don't know if it's uh, green or, or black. Um, like, I've only seen the green ones, but I just assume people say that, that it refers to a black beetle. Then I guess they're, I just took their word for it. Right. But um, um, but like you said, like the, we talk about a, a bug, the actual bug. Um, the big old, they're like, they're like June bugs. You know what I'm saying? They fly around, you put a little string on their neck. Um, uh -huh. like, on but like, the uh, actual. Strings on their leg. <laughs> well, I, my, my I'm brother, like, when, uh, my brother showed out. me, he put it on their neck. But, um, yeah, like it's, uh, it's, it's like when in reference, when it's referring to black people, a human, black person, right? Like, uh, it's, it's a slur. And even though the beetle may be green, like it doesn't even have to make sense. The slurs don't have to make sense. You know, I could call someone a, a fizzle pop, and if I say it in the right context, it's a slur now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't. It doesn't even make sense. It, it could just be anything. Uh, just, wait, just how you use it, you know. And I, I, I don't know who said, who said it. Uh, did uh, Emiliano say it, or who said it? No, he asked. He asked a question, and they're making it sound like he called someone that. But see, I Legal, along with Tileka, who is also deeply anti-black, is trying to twist the meaning of Mayate to downplay the clear anti-blackness in their circle. This is a repeated pattern. Anytime their actions are questioned, they minimize or outright deny their wrongdoings. To be clear, there is no ambiguity here. Emiliano meant the term in a derogatory, racist way, and it's unacceptable to suggest otherwise. Do you okay. know what a Mayate is? You fucking A, you know what it is, because I know what a Mexican is. Ma Mayeta. W what's the origin of that word? We'll let the ones from that era. I'm I'm indigenous. I'm Native American, so I don't know. I'm American Indian, so I don't know. But I'll let them answer. I'm Native. Oh, okay. I, I, I all the races like in my family. All of them. I'd like to leave it up to the. I, just, uh, I, just, I don't. I wouldn't speak on that because it's not my. It's it not, no, the, bro, the brother who addressed me. The, the brother who addressed me. He, he he can get a definition for it. Or, or the or the origin the uh, the origination of the word. So so the origination of the word comes from prison. Um, this is the way that we use yeah, our vernacular. I thought it was a country. No 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 no. This is this is this is a puro Central uh, America. Uh, the word Mexico. Pretty sure. My understanding came from that it, that it was a black bug. Well, that's what that's what it is. Well, a, a, teron, a teron is a black bug, um, and 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 that's it's another it's another uh, name that we would refer to you as. I need to. No, it wasn't. He wasn't video. calling him that. It was like he was teaching him. He was telling him because um, the guy who said um, Mexican, like with the an S, and um, Emiliano and that, took it. Yeah. But he came up and explained why, and he said it, it's kind of like, you know, and he told him the word. Um, I, I didn't I didn't understand, but um, I knew he was just trying to use it as a comparison. So I was just like, okay. Not only you know, that, I, it, it's not only something that in jail um, was, uh, was known, but also in cartoons 
that I, um, in cartoons that I saw from the 1940s and 1950s, it's insulting. It's insulting to Mexican people. Okay. Uh, that word? Brett, what, what was you pointing at? Just say Mexican. Like, Mexican. I was just, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. I was just kind of like Lakota, Zuya. Yep. Lakota. Panel full of sh sh shit asses, LL. Oh, he <laughs> He said the panel's full, um, full shit ass. He's calling me a shit ass. Because I call him oh, full. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, he was I, calling uh, me a shit ass. Uh, I would never. No, he would not call up my okay. panel. I'll be like, okay. Bro, I know where you live, right? <laughs> <laughs> How's baby doing? He's doing good. He's sleeping right now, so I thought I'd enjoy myself a little bit. Sit here drinking some coffee and you got good stuff, you know, like that. Uh, I literally was going to go on your live, but then I seen baby and I backed out real quick. I was like, oh, I can't bring that negative energy in there. Not he's too damn cute. He's precious and innocent. So okay. that noise. I know. So I you just brought it up in reference to like compare it to the N word in English. That's how he used it. No, no. Oh, I could be to no, he he asked him a question and he said, you know, I can also say things that are could be used as a slur uh but see the the recording it was a recording it wasn't even a video we need to watch the whole entire video because it sounded yeah, i'll, I'll like have to look on my because yeah. i feel like yeah i feel like um it wasn't uh, a legit video as in like yeah they chopped it up or something because it didn't sound right you guys already know that i don't edit or chop up my videos so don't bother lying because it, it wasn't like how that was in the live and and the guy didn't leave like um feeling offended and i even reached out to him but i don't even know if that was his life <laughs> i mean the person i reached out to i don't know if that was him but um i reached out to him just to you know see if uh if that happened i invited him to my live if you i said if you're available come to the live and if i owe him an apology i'd definitely apologize because i didn't know i mean i literally didn't know but Everybody's saying, you don't. Please do. Start calling out pretending. Let's get them all in here. Fuck oh, it. you got it. You got it. You got it. Don't worry. Do it. I got do it. Might okay. as well, someone sent me a video that uh, Kentucky said that I doxed her. <laughs> and you know Ooh. what it was, Ooh, Kentucky? Uh -huh. it, it, only because I accidentally hit uh, uh, a like. I, was it a like or... Or a favorite on on one of her videos. So if she's got You're me blocked, traitor! You're a if traitor. She's got, if she's got me blocked, why is she her video coming up on my <laughs> FYP? <laughs> oh, I don't know. She don't uh, like me because I told her she she's she's not royalty. We didn't have princesses back in the day, so you're not royalty. She hated that I said that, but I'm just <laughs> feeding facts. Jesus, sorry for correcting you. Anyway. It's yeah, go for it. thing about um, the pretendians. Um, there's a particular group, like I was telling you last night, um, Lakota, whatever her name is. Mm -hmm. um, they're trying. They they've got me labeled as anti-black. Oh yeah. yeah. I was like, what? Because they were trying to say yeah. they were telling me not to say um, <clears throat> a bad word for for black people in Navajo, and I'm like. Um, you can say it if you want. That's your language. Don't let them tell you how to speak your fucking language. I'll tell you that much. One guy with you, Kat, where that one guy said that, that you should be. Um, remember that guy told you that you should be slapped and spit on. Who? What? What? That guy. Yeah. Remember that you're in that live with that that Egyptian guy. The guy says he's Egyptian, and you're in the panel. Yeah. And I forgot. I forgot what you said, but it wasn't even offensive, bro. And he said that because you said that that you deserve to be slapped and spit on. And then they and then they fucking uh you know they. They didn't drop him and shit. And I think they ended up dropping. You don't remember that? I don't remember. It was so it's so chaotic. Well, it was a chaotic um, live, yeah. But he he said that shit about you. I I, I fucking was talking shit to him in the comments and uh, <laughs> telling the host like, you know, this is bullshit. You can't have this whole saying he's gonna slap and spit in the face of a native woman. And you didn't even say anything uh, offensive at all. Oh, that's all you right. Said was that like you that's anti-indigenous AF. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the thing about it is, we as Dene, we have a specific. There's like two ways to explain a black person, and neither one of them is derogatory. That's not what I've heard. 
I heard the word that cat using to refer to black people means Negro in the Navajo language. Calling a black person a Negro in 2024 is absolutely derogatory. Mm -hmm. So I kept telling these people not live and I'm like, what are you talking about? And I kept thinking and thinking, I'm like, we don't have a word to be derogatory. <laughs> it's just like, whatever. So I unfollowed several people. But mm -hmm. anyway, you know, these words that we're learning in whatever language it may be, um, unknowingly, if we say something, we may not say it correctly, like that Spanish word, for instance. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of words out there in different languages, meaning different things that are derogatory. Mm -hmm. When you learn these things, you know, like you and I, for instance, I have been, you know, a victim of say, saying something derogatory in Spanish because I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> so um, I just usually just whatever, you know, if that's what it means. Okay, I apologize, you know, just let it go. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't understand why some individuals are being so um, negative about it. They're, they're right. just, they want to fight. They want to pick a fight is what they're doing. Those are the ones that are toxic as fuck. Yeah, like, they are. And like, they're not about um, fixing things between the communities. Right. They want to keep it that way. I don't know why. I mean, yeah. I think we would have a better chance at um, dealing with all this bullshit that we're going through if we came together. But a lot of them right. don't. They don't. Ago, and I, what can we do about it? I was like, we can't a, change um, their mind. Yeah, we can't. And, that, and that's what's sad for them. But like years ago, the reason why I had that experience was I, I was in a part of a little Chola gang back in the, the 80s. <laughs> and they were really good to me. They treated me well. I was like a sister to them. Um, and, you know, they taught me a few things. And, you know, I didn't know any better. Um, years later, you know, I had said something and people just looked at me funny. I'm like, oh, no. So my son-in-law is from El Salvador. And I asked him and he's like, don't say that. <laughs> Okay, so he helped me understand what it meant. So, you know, again, it I think in this day and time when we're learning other languages or we're relearning our own particular native tongue, um, people need to kind of be a little more understanding because they need to just grow up and not be so, you know, toxic because mm -hmm. these things happen. People say things wrong. You know, I say things in Dene wrong and people correct me, you know, or if I'm not sure, I don't say it at all. Or I'll you'll know, ask someone to help me how to pronounce it properly. Um, mm -hmm. So I if I were you, sis, just, you know, when these things happen, I'm talking to everybody in here. We need to just try to be a little more respectful, you know, and if someone says something in the chat, you know, it's really hard because it's a little bit different when it's in the in the chat. But. I think at this day and time of all this toxicity that's been going on back and forth between all of us brown people and black people, this stuff needs to calm down. We're, we need to be done with it. There's no need for yeah. it. Stop the fighting. We're supposed to be working together and learning together. We have always traded with each other. We've always shared each other with different our different tribes. Um, so all i'm just saying is i've had to walk away from some of these people because there's no sense like you're saying you can't talk mm -hmm. to them you can't help them at all because they don't want to hear they don't no. want to hear it so nope. that's on them this situation highlights exactly why black people often feel they have no true allies so-called allyship frequently comes at the expense of black people's well-being it is entirely conditional only supported as long as it serves the interests of the so-called allies when your allyship is driven by self-interest rather than a genuine desire for justice and equality, it becomes meaningless. With allies like this, who needs enemies? And this whole thing I'm still, I'm still saying, defend yourself, defend your people. Yeah. I mean, literally speak up for the our our native people because nobody Absolutely. should be able to. Nobody's gonna shut you the fuck up. The oh, yeah. I I was literally um in the live and. I had a uh, Afro Indigenous person telling me to shut up. I was like, that, the that's fuck? Wrong. I know. I was in there. I was like, one. I, I, I was like, no one in this fucking app could fucking shut me up, bitch. 
right or has the power to shut me up bitch that, i was like that i'm sorry i had to fucking say because i don't i wasn't being disrespectful i was just answering their questions i wasn't doing shit but they want to say that because these guys are pushing this narrative out there that i'm anti-black because mm -hmm. what I don't back down from you motherfuckers. Well, fine. I'm anti-black. I don't care. I'm right. not going to sit here and suck my thumb while you guys are fucking going in on my people, assholes. Right. Trying to erase us. Yeah. Um, it's not going to it, happen. So It's just a sad situation right now that um, it's this awakening that's happening. It's very toxic right now. And those of us that have gone past that stage, you know, who knows how long ago that was, um, it's going to be hard for us to be patient. I get it. Um, but we need to try to be patient with them. But sometimes I lose it too. I lose my cool. Believe me, I will. <laughs> <laughs> so I get it. Um, <sighs> so, I'm always losing my cool. <laughs> I don't even care. Like, I, you know, and the thing is, um, if you're coming at me respectful, I'll be respectful. But if you no, come at me cool. and I'll match your, I'll match your energy. Okay if not more right. and um the it's fact delicious. that i had i had people going around saying that um when one i was a half breed that bugged the fuck out of me because yeah. one my i'm i'm really proud of my my family and my bloodline yeah. and my people period don't fucking talk about me like that yeah. if you want to ask ask me i don't care you yeah. know i have i i know who the fuck i am and this yeah. is coming from another half of a, a, a legit half breed like literally <laughs> my parents are both native mm -hmm. your parents one's native one's white yep. difference there's a difference Ooh.